Tight end Trey McBride was my breakout pick for the Cardinals this year. He was a second round pick in 2022, and like most tight ends, he started off slow in his rookie year. Through the first 12 weeks, he only had 46 receiving yards, but he had 219 in the last five games, and he has so much natural talent, I expected that production to increase. And this year started off looking like a continuation of the first half of his rookie season, but once again, the Cardinals have realized that he's on their roster, and they've started to use him a lot more. And in week 10, he had a career performance eight catches on nine targets for 131 yards, 96.2 PFF grade. Right here, Kyler Murray hits him on a corner route. Great job tracking the ball over his shoulder, gets both feet in bounds. One of his biggest strengths in college is what he could do after the catch. He forced three missed tackles in week 10. He's a guy you can get the ball on drag routes, slide routes, anything underneath, and it's just a cheap 10 to 15 yards because he can make the first guy miss. He's fast, powerful, and he has a really effective stiff arm. This is another corner route from week 10. The ball's kind of under thrown. I'll let y'all decide if this is OPI. Richie Grant was kind of out of control already, but there's definitely some contact there. Either way, it's a great adjustment to the pass. Really difficult catch working back to the football. Looking back to week eight, he's going to work behind Patrick Queen on this dig route, makes the catch, and then there's about an eight second struggle, but eventually he gets into the end zone. Really good effort here by McBride and the rest of the Cardinals offense. And then this is another nice play on a seam route to high point the ball, makes a really difficult contested catch. So with some increased usage and Kyler Murray returning to the lineup, up. I have really high hopes for Trey McBride. He could easily be a top 10 tight end in the next couple years. For the season, he has 36 catches, 418 yards, and a touchdown. He ranks second to Travis Kelsey in yards per route run, and he's also a really impactful run blocker. Right here, they're running pin pull. He's able to pick up this block on Richie Grant, drive him into the ground. Right here, they're running a power option. He fakes the pull, works back around to the left side, seals off the edge on the slot corner, and there were also a few plays from week six where he was just driving defensive backs to the sideline. So as far as usage goes, there shouldn't be any situation where he's off the field. I'm not sure why his snap counts were so low early in the season. He's not going to win every block when he's matched up with a defensive end, but no tight end is. And if you don't have this guy in fantasy, you should definitely pick him up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.